Hello everyone, my name is Hyung Woo Jin. This video introduces the quantum cascade laser for college student level. Quantum cascade laser is a semiconductor laser in the mid-infrared band with a different operating principle from the PN junction type semiconductor laser diode. Quantum cascade laser is in the spotlight because it is the only semiconductor laser in the IR band that can operate at room temperature, and it is a key device that drives the entire IR region, which has a lot of room for exploration compared to the visible region. Why is cascade in the name? The definition of cascade in the dictionary is a small waterfall. Just like water falling from a waterfall, the electrons inside the quantum cascade laser are transitioned from high energy to low energy in multiple stages, hence the name cascade. So before explaining quantum cascade laser, let's talk about the tunneling effect, which is background information. Tunneling effect is the quantum mechanical phenomenon where a wave function can propagate through a potential barrier. In classical mechanics, particles that do not have enough energy to classically surmount a barrier cannot reach the other side. Thus, a ball without sufficient energy to surmount the hill would roll back down. A ball that lacks the energy to penetrate a wall bounces back. Alternatively, the ball might become part of the wall. In quantum mechanics, these particles can, with a small probability, tunnel to the other side, thus crossing the barrier. The transmission through the barrier can be finite and depends exponentially on the barrier height and barrier width. The wave function may disappear on one side and reappear on the other side. Now let's talk about the quantum cascade laser. The operating principle of the semiconductor laser diode is as follows. As the carrier of the conduction band transition to the valence band, light with the wavelengths corresponding to the band gap is emitted. Therefore, the length of the wavelength depends on the material. However, the active layer region of the quantum cascade laser has a structure in which an injection region for injecting electrons and a region for li light emitting layer for emitting photons are stacked. Unlike semiconductor laser diodes, it uses inter band transitions, so the wavelength of the emitted light is determined by the structure rather than the material. The injection region has a chirp spur lattice structure that gradually decreases in thickness. And in the active mode, the mini band in the super lattice is designed to be flat by the voltage applied to the device. In this mini band, electrons are injected into E3 formed in the light emitting layer by tunneling effect. The electron transition from E3 to E2 corresponds to the luminescent transition and emits one photon. After that, Electrons move from E2 to E1 by a relaxation process and are injected into the injection region of the next adjacent stage. By repeating this series of cascade operations, it is possible to emit a polarity of photons per one injected electron. The oscillation wavelength is not limited by the band gap of the material and can be designed from the mid-infrared to terahertz range of the same material. Multiple photons can be emitted per injection electron using cascade coupling. Therefore, high power operation can be expected. Due to the ultra-fast non-luminescence relaxation process, the oscillation spectrum is essentially narrow. 
Quantum cascade laser, which is the only semiconductor laser capable of oscillation in the mid infrared region, 4 to 15 micrometer, is commercially available as a laser light source for trace gas analysis by absorption spectroscopy. Because it has an oscillation wavelength in the mid infrared region, the so called fingerprint region of molecules. It is used as an ultra-sensitive gas analyzer for atmospheric environment monitoring. In industrial applications, it is used as a laser light source for a real-time gas analyzer of automobile exhaust gas and process control, and replacement of a non-dispersive IR gas analyzer that combines a lamp and a filter is in progress. In addition, using a high-power quantum cascade laser of 1 watt class, it is showing application development in the medical field, such as selective modification and transpiration of soft materials such as living tissue. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!